What's up guys, Andre here, and welcome to Namco Museum on the Nintendo Switch. Now the game officially comes out tomorrow, and we'll have a full game watch for it later when we check out at least some more of the games here. But I wanted to start off by showing off one of the ones that have been special, that's been kind of special to me. And that is Pac-Man vs. This is the game that first came out on the GameCube back in 2003, and it's unlike most other Pac-Man games. Sorry, I had to shut up there while Mario did his thing. Yes, I don't know why Mario is the announcer in this game, but he is, just deal with it. So this game was made as a special collaboration between, between Nintendo, which you can see there on the copyright screen, as well as Namco, and it uh, came with for free as, uh, as part of Pac-Man World 2 on the GameCube. Um, now this game is rather unique in that, well, for multiple reasons. One, it's a multiplayer Pac-Man game, where three people play as a ghost on the TV, and the fourth player is actually Pac-Man and plays on the Game Boy Advance, or back in the original version played on the Game Boy Advance. So the Game Boy Advance player, like you can see here, can see the full map of the screen, including where all the ghosts are, whereas the ghosts who are playing on the TV could only see a small portion of the map, and they had to work together to try to find Pac-Man and you try to corner him and, you know, get him and win. So that was really cool. The catch was that you needed the GameCube, you needed the Game Boy Advance, you needed the Game Boy Advance or GameCube Link Cable, and of course you needed Pac-Man Versus as well. So that's not something that many people had, because that was a lot to take in, just for one game. Even though if you had it, it was a lot of fun. Um, since then, the game hasn't really been re-released, except once before on Namco Museum, back in 2007 on the Nintendo DS, uh, and finally, once again, in Namco Museum for the Nintendo Switch, which is the first time it's been playable again on a console. So I thought we'd do a quick check of it and see how it holds up. Um, now unfortunately, uh, while you do need two switches for the full experience, uh, I only have one person here, so we're gonna have to fake it a little bit for the multiplayer portion. However, you actually can play the game single player now, um, and yeah, so I thought we'd check that portion out at least. In fact, you can play multiplayer as well, but the catch is that in the single console version of the game, you can only play as Ghost. You cannot play as Pac-Man, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, it's too bad they didn't figure out a way around that or do like a full split screen thing, but whatever. So we're gonna choose one player here. We're gonna aim for 7,000 points. And let's start off with, uh, we'll do the original Pac-Man map. It's a classic. So yeah, so we are working together to take down Pac-Man. Of course, the other ghosts are CPUs, so we won't be working together too much, at least verbally, but... I was never gonna stop this before. <laughs> Alright, so we can see Pac-Man on the blue screen. Oh, and Pac-Man just got a pellet, so we need to stay away from him. We can also see a map at the bottom right that shows the full map, just minus the intricacies. And I got eaten by Pac-Man. Awesome. Where were you on that one, ghost teammates? Why weren't you helping me out there? Alright, but we can go for Pac-Man again. Oh, and he's got a pellet, so we're gonna try and avoid him. So yeah, right now, this is just like the original game, except in higher def now. Um, yeah, it has it always had a good look to it? A good, vibrant look to it. Oh, come on! I'm gonna try and head him off here. Mmm, yeah, I think he got away. Is he gonna go for the cherry? No, he's not. Keep an eye on blue screen there. Uh, or not. I have... Oh, they're down there, so... Alright, good job, Pink! So, Pink's a winner. Uh, now, in the pre now, if you're playing with two switches, which we'll try and show off here in a second, it would hand it, it would ask you to hand the controller off to someone else. Whoever you know that would that, that would person that person would be Pac-Man instead. Um, but since we're just playing as ghosts, that's not going to happen here. So we'll do one more round. Actually, let's go and switch up the map real quick. Switch up the map. Let's go and reset the game from the new pause screen menu. Aim for 7,000 points against the pac -Man's trying to get to 7,000 points, whereas we're just trying to kill Pac-Man. Let's go with, uh... Frantic Forest. Actually, let's go with Panic Pier. Although I like any level of alliteration in it, which... I think most of them did. <laughs> Ready? Alright, so we gotta find Pac-Man again. I'm watching all three screens. Looks like Pink already found him. He's going up toward the top right. Oh, and Blue got him right away! It's my boy, Blue. Okay, so you get how Pac-Man vs. works, uh, at least when playing on a single console, but let's see how it works if you have two Switches, allowing you to experience the game as it was originally intended. 
Okay, I just made a quick edit there because I realized after I've made the previous video, it will make way more sense just to show you the actual perspective of the other Switch. So that's what we're going to do now. So um, this is a version of the game I downloaded for free from the eShop. It allows you to play only Pac-Man Versus uh, and only as a subscreen, but it is free, so that way you don't need two copies of Namco Museum in order to do this. So I'm going to hop in right now, and I'll show you what it looks like from the other uh, Switch's perspective uh, if you want to play as Pac-Man in um, a true four-player mode, or in this case... You know, one player. Well, technically two players. I'm be controlling only one of them. So, whereas other ghosts would be filled in by CPUs. All right. So here we are. Uh, you can see the main menu looks identical to the full version of the game, except when you select anything else, it says this game can only be, be selected in the full version. So unfortunately, yeah, you can't get any, like any demos or anything here. So we're gonna go Pac-Man versus. I had to listen for Mario again. And it says this software can only be used at the Namco Museum, it cannot be played separately. So yeah, there's nothing you can do in the free version of the game besides play it with the full version as well. So we're gonna, as you can see, it took us right into the main game. Um, it didn't give us an option of choosing which one we wanted to play. We only had the option of sub-screen, so we're gonna choose that. Now it's waiting for connection, so back on the other Switch, I'm going to go, uh, go back to the main menu here. Give me a sec. Choose original, we're going to choose start game, and then now we're waiting for a connection. And then it's asking me to want to join Andre here on the main TV, so we're going to do that. And away we go! So, okay, on the main screen, you saw this before, I'm just choosing two players. I'm going to aim for 7,000 points as Pac-Man, and, or that's what Pac-Man is aiming for. And then let's go with, um... For the level, let's go with Manic Manor. Alright, so we should get something on the main screen here. Here we go. So this is what Pac-Man sees, whereas on the other screen, um, you saw what happens before the ghosts are working together to get Pac- to get Pac-Man. It's a bit confusing here having two controllers. <laughs> Alright, so as Pac-Man had the full view of the screen, trying to uh, take these guys down now and get 7,000 points in the process. Alright, I ate the uh, other second player there being me. Barely got that guy before my power pellet ran out. I think in order for the other ghosts to be active, I think the second player, the CPU ones, I think the second player needs to pass through them, I believe. So let me actually go and do that. Okay, control the other ghost here. Let's run them through one of those other ghosts. Yeah, okay, now they're both active, so... So yeah, this is obviously playing with only two CPUs and no human players. <laughs> it's a lot easier than it would be normally, but... I'm just showing you, showing you so you guys get the idea of it. It is really fun when you have a lot of people, when you have three people working together to get you. Oh, this ghost is on my tail right now. But I want to win this Pac-Man. Let's get that Cherry. Oh, nope, Cherry's gone. Let's go make the other ghost active too, so I'm controlling the other player again. There we go, now all three are fully active ghosts. Well, except for the second player that's not doing anything again. Oh god. Alright, only 2,000 more points, which is probably every pellet here, I'm guessing. Oh, let's get that ghost out of there, otherwise I'll never get those pellets. Oh, I might be screwed here. Yep, they got me! And that, I think that's it. So hopefully that gave you a rough idea of how Pac-Man vs. works in Namco Museum. Rest assured, it is a lot more fun than making it look here. Once you get a full crew in there, it's a really good time, um, even if it's been a long time since I've been able to play it, just because of how complicated it was originally, which is part of the appeal of the Namco Museum. Anyways, thanks for watching, and of course stay tuned to Game & Play for more Namco Museum, including a full upcoming Game Watch for the rest of the game, and everything else on Nintendo Switch as well. Catch you later, bye.